Hello. Really? Oh well. Hello, people of the tube, and welcome back to another review. I'm Chris. I'm William Daryl Dill. DC. And today we're going to be reviewing a horror film that has got really great reviews. It's been top for the last couple of years. The only horror film that you have seen on all the horror websites was a movie by the name of It Follows. Everyone and their mother who are horror fans talked about this film. People like the Nostalgia Critic talked about this film. And this ain't even his type of film. So when it comes down to it, It Follows is about a young woman, roughly college age, I say she's in college, maybe high school, and she meets a guy, she has sex with him. Well, the guy tells her that he has now passed down a unexplained monstrosity. It's never truly explained as a demon or a monster. It's just something. It is some. It is a shadow. It is a something it follows. And it follows her. That is the point of the movie. Is this thing, after having sex with the person, will follow you. And it will kill you. Now, everyone who has known anything to do with this movie obviously gets the underlying meaning. The monster, demon, whatever itself is an STD. It's like AIDS or, you know, it's a killing disease from sex. Everybody knows that. Uh, but, of course, there are also deeper meanings. And not only that, but the thing is, the music. The fucking music for this movie is classic 80s horror. With the the beating of the the bass and the the screaming of the other instruments. It is classic music at its best for the horror genre, like Halloween, The Thing, or The Exorcist. This has a really good soundtrack that goes perfectly with the movie. The actors and actresses do a fine job for it being their first film. And altogether, it, is, and it has a few jump scares in there, and it's, it's relatively decent. Now, I don't think it's as good as a lot of people said it was. To me, I think that it's a lot different. It's more different than most of the stuff that people who aren't big horror fans have seen. And by watching something that's different now, it potentially led them to freak the fuck out. Um, is it a good movie? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's not great. It's not the best horror film in a decade. Especially when you compare it to something like The Collector, which to me is a fucking great horror film. Uh, but it is a good movie. It is good. And it's worth a watch. And that's what I got to say. How about you? Uh... I gotta say, they put the music on spot on. Uh, the ghost changes into many different characters. And I say, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I would give it a thumbs up too. It is worth a watch. Um, even if you never considered watching it, I would say watch it at least once. Just because it's worth at least one watch. Now, after one watch, it's probably, to me, it's nothing spectacular, but it is a horror movie that's worth one watch. Like... When I review Good Night Mommy. It's not great, but it's worth a watch. And it'll leave you hanging at the very end of the yeah. damn movie. It's a decent ending. I, I like that. I've always liked sort of cliffhanger endings. Like so. bullshit. Yeah. Uh, to, be, to be honest with you, uh, I've kind of um, been uh, kind of bouncing out like whether it was good or not. So I kind of have mixed emotions about it. Um, the music, uh, as these guys said, is completely spot on, um, and it makes you think that something is truly going to happen, like just around the corner or something like that. It's really amazing. And though my biggest flaw with this, um, to me, is that um, the concept was kind of poor, just the idea that it's like just a unknown monster that goes around um, as long as if you you know don't have sex and it's gonna get you um, so the thing, yeah see I when you start and that's the thing I I've always liked a movie that makes you think there's nothing that attracts me more to a horror movie than making me think and there are certain movies like martyrs that's always made me question stuff and this movie I have to say I did too and I understand 
Because when you start to really think about it, what is a disease? It is a shapeless, nameless entity that kills you slowly. When you think about it, something like AIDS and this monster are one and the same. And the thing is, it makes sense because you have sex and you give it to somebody else. But it also can kill you, even if you give it to somebody else. Makes you think. We ain't saying, and what I'm about to say, we ain't saying it's a porno, but I mean, no. still. No, it. No, it's it's decent. It is yeah. a good movie, and it makes you think. And I've always liked a good movie that made me think. And with the music, it's a good movie. Yeah, I mean, I mean, granted, it it'll get you deep thinking uh, into the whole thing, uh, and kind of make theories out of everything. Uh, for that, I would I would say I give it props for. But like I said, it's just the concept in general to me is just uh, questionable per se. But nonetheless, I'd, I'd say it's good to at least watch it wa once. Yeah. Yeah, I, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's, you know. Eh. I give it a thumbs up because it's worth the watch. Well, like most of the horror movies I review. But it's really nothing to be astounded about. Obviously, I've given shit way better reviews. Of course, like Last Circus and shit like that. Like in cinema. And motherfucking it follows. It's it's the it's good. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I bought it, and I don't think it's as good as everyone else did. And like people were going freaking out, and people seen it twice in theaters, and it had a limited showing. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't watch it twice. No. Like I mean, I wouldn't mind. Like I'd show it to somebody else. Right. Because it's probably worth getting its own audience. But I wouldn't freak out and go see it, like, multiple times at the theater. It ain't, and, like, it ain't like going and watching it 20 times in your own house. Yeah, it's not like it's not like what I do with Killer Clowns from Outer Space, watching it once a month. Yeah, it's not like that. I would never do that with It Follows. Yeah, it's, it's not one of those movies that it's notable enough to watch multiple times. It's not. Yeah, at most... I might watch it again to show it off to somebody yes. else, or I might just throw it in to either fall asleep, or maybe even when I have an off day with extra time, and just put it in and be like, oh, that's some good music, and it's a decent movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. Definitely check it out. So, this has been another review. Peace the fuck out. Peace, Peace out.